And we are back with Grape Encounters Radio. And now I have a special treat for you because we have Michael Barreto, and he's the head winemaker for La Vignette Winery, which is in Paso Robles, California. And he is the renaissance man when it comes to making wines. You will oftentimes see him stomping away with his own feet to make special wines like his Amarone. Yes. Let's start with Amarone as the rest of the world knows it and what that is. I think very few people actually are familiar with this wine. You have your own twist on it, and I hope more people will head down this road as time goes on. Okay. Uh, So um, Amarone traditionally comes from northern Italy and is a style of producing wine. The way that it happens is they pick the grapes and dehydrate them before they make the wine. The traditional story behind it was harvest in Italy was so busy, the grapes would all get ripe at the same time. They would pick the white grapes and the red grapes at the same time, and they would store the red grapes up at the attic until they were done making the white wines, and then they'd pull the red grapes down and make red wine. That's the history or tradition behind it. So what happens then when you're making wine with grapes that have been picked and dehydrated for a period of time, the juice that is in the berries becomes more concentrated. Yeah, obviously, yeah. So you end up with a very concentrated wine. So differentiate between those grapes, though, and a raisin. Because it's not the same thing, right? Or is it? It's similar. It depends on when they're they're picked. And so um, the Amarone stuff is picked earlier in the ripening curve so that you end up with flavors that are more earthy. A raisin, you're going to leave on the vine longer to where it achieves really ripe flavor and then you pull it down so you end up with that really sweet raisiny character right like with raisins you're dehydrating to where your moisture is very low uh when you're making amarone wines you're you're dehydrating them but only to the point where there's still juice in the in the berry right so you're not adding juice to it so there's nothing else added back no no okay you could though right you could yes because i've heard of that being done that's uh ripasso and that is ripasso okay so that's the difference between ripasso so an Amarone is yes. with Raposo, they're adding back juice. Right. But with the Amarone, they're not doing that. Correct. correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your high end Amarones, anything like seventy dollars and over is all hand distemmed and you know, first time through. We're I hate to say that under seventy five dollars is a lower price bottle of wine, but that's mechanically distemmed and it's very labor intensive. The first year we did it, we did hand distemming, and that was very, very time time wow. consuming. 